All right, everyone. Inflation and supply chain issues continue to push prices higher, including your grocery bill. Those same food costs are now trickling down to food banks and those that rely on them. It's getting expensive out there. KTK's Troy Bean spoke with local East Texas food banks all day long and says they've seen a huge increase of families coming in because times are tough. Mm. Tori. Neil Sarah, with prices increasing, more families are turning to food banks to feed their children. The only problem is pantries are having a hard time keeping up. Food pantries rely on donations from local grocery stores and other businesses. Prices increase have led to smaller donations. So unfortunately, as inflation goes up, donations vary um, depending on the store. Um, and that's just based off what the store is pricing them at. And uh, that contains, you know, meat. Um, dairy products, um, bread, and in a sense like sweets and desserts and stuff like that. Now food banks are having to figure out how to make what they have stretch. St. Paul Children Foundation is doing everything they can to continue helping the community. And so as you can tell, like the more clients we get, the more products we're going to have to purchase if it's not donated. Right now, they're assisting anywhere from 60 to 90 families a day, and the need is steadily growing. So it's making it difficult for people on limited income, people who are retired, you know, just people in general, everyone. No one can elude this situation. They're all impacted by the, the cost of food. St. Paul Children Foundation offers a wide variety of items that you can choose from, but right now the hardest items for them to get is meat and dairy. We realize that it's a difficult time for a lot of people still, and uh, our doors are still very much open. That's why St. Paul's is working with stores in the East Texas Food Bank to help meet the needs. But I really would like to see some changes for everyone so that people can have a normal life and, and not have to be scraping and suffering every day. St. Paul Children Foundation posts a list of needed items on their website and say the only thing they ask for is for you to check on your neighbors and try to help out. In studio, Tori Bean, K2K News.